Hi all, yeah, uh, this is to show uh, the method of installing LM tools uh, after installing an ESI software. So af basically after you have installed your ESI software, you will find that there will be a folder in C drive called Flex LM. So within this folder, you will have uh, mostly your LMGrad, LM2s and LM2s. So you need to have an admin access to uh, open LM2s. You have to be an administrator to access this. So basically all your setup will be set inside this. So I'm going to set a new license for this method. So the first thing you do is you have to use configuration using services. Uh, to create new services, maybe you have like for Autodesk and maybe SolidWorks and all. You have to create your services in the config service here. So if you have a new service, you just have to create, for example here, service 2. And then I just need to set all the part to this uh, uh, files that's needed to be pointed to. So part to lmgrad.exe will be inside the same folder as your flex lmc. So you can see here it's a lmgrd.exe file and you select this. Part to the license file also will be here. So the default license file sometimes you have uh, not to say sometimes but you need to rename this to pam.lmd.lic. So every time you get a new license, what you need to do is you bring it in, rename this to pamlmd.lic and put it in your FlexLM folder. So whatever your license new latest one, you will read just by the name of pam.lmd, uh, pam underscore lmd.lic. So okay, I'm going to select this, select this. Okay, and your debug log file, you can put it anywhere you want can also put it in the same folder as this. So what you need to do is you have to create a new log file. So by default, you don't have any log file. Uh, what you can do is you can just create a text file here. Example here. And just put it as log files. Okay. And you just edit the extension to make it log file. That's it. So yes yeah, so you want to change it is just accept this so you go back to your lm tools you can see that i can just easily select a log file which i just created so what you need to do is you have to make sure that this services is clicked on and you start the service every time you power up so once you save the service yes okay uh yeah i mean uh Sometimes it, it doesn't allow you to edit the log file here, so you have to create it in another place. So you can see it doesn't allow this. So what you can do is I put this in a this is the for the latest Flex LM version. So you can see 11.16.2.1. You have to create these log files away from this Flex LM. So I'm going to select a log file which was the default one which was in program data and flex lm okay so there is a log file here debug log file okay so when you save this it doesn't give an error previous version you can save it in here uh basically i think it's a uh, more of a security so yeah you can save this in a default location which is already set for uh, my flex era in the lm tools so you can see here you have two services what you can do is you can either restart your machine or you can just start the server here you should read the license Okay, and also if you want to reread your license file, you can just do this to make sure that it reads complete. Okay, if you have license file read completed, 
uh, basically you already have set up the services. You should be able to start your Flex, L uh, I mean your software, ESI software. Uh, if you still find problem, try a restart uh, and switch off. Not a restart, that means you power off and you start, back, start it uh, manually again. Sometimes restart doesn't really clear the cage, so uh, it's best for you to do a full power off and restart power on back again. Okay, thanks for watching the video.